here on the electronic side, I have a um, saturated injector driver with charge recovery, which allows me to open the injector much faster, uh, approximately the same, slightly slower than a um, low impedance injector. This injector is a 10 ohm injector. Um, power, this board is simply a logic input, and then that determines when the logic is pulled low, the injector is held open. When it's released high, then it goes back high. The input for this comes from over here on this breadboard. And this is all temporary. This will all be microprocessor controlled eventually. There's a, um, off of the magneto, there's a signal that I've pro uh, did some con signal conditioning on. And it basically is allowing me to detect when the engine is at um, basically 18 degrees before top dead center. Temporarily, I'm using that as my trigger for my injector pulse. Then I feed that, uh, clean that waveform up into a nice square wave, which is used to trigger a monostable oscillator, which then, using this potentiometer, I can control the exact width of the uh, injector pulse, basically from approximately one and a half milliseconds all the way up to whatever is necessary to fuel the engine. And I've got on my oscilloscope, I'm just monitoring the drive signal to the injector. Now, I've just got a couple power supplies. Here is a uh, wide band. Here's the wide band unit. Right now, it's showing uh, it's maxed out because the engine's not running anymore. So it's showing a maximum 16 to 1. Uh, not 16 to 1 ratio, it's actually lambda, 16 lambda. Normally the engine will run somewhere approximately around lambda of 1, perhaps slightly rich or slightly lean, depending on the load conditions. So this is a uh, wideband sensor. It's made by this company, uh, Ecotrons. Um, uses the Bosch 4.9 sensor, which is a really nice wideband sensor. I'm not a... Uh, salesman for Ecotrons, but I've been satisfied with their products. So it's a good, cheap, hobbyist uh, wideband sensor I highly recommend. Uh, on my computer, I, don't, I normally would do data. This, the Ecotrons unit also allows data logging. I'm not doing that right now, but that's another capability I can do. Uh, I'm not doing that right now. So the idea now is to take everything on the breadboard, put it onto a microprocessor, and add fuel maps, and, and attach that to the a mass airflow output so I can run my engine based on mass airflow. Um, other ideas I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do um, EGR with cooled EGR to attempt to increase the efficiency. I'm also doing some vortex swirling in the throttle body as an, you know, just as an experiment. This whole thing is an experiment to try to see how, how much better I can make the engine versus the carburetor version. I guess that's all I've got to say for now.